Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back from an e-learning day. We have big-time announcements today about all the athletics that are taking place in the spring. We are also re returning all the computers that we had yesterday, so this is what I'm going to say to you. Uh, teachers, if you could please uh, email me the minute your entire stash of computers are back in, uh, I will take a certain number. And I will give candy to those students. Now, going because I know some uh, advisories have borrowed computers and whatnot, but I know who took what because I have the spreadsheet. So if you tell me all my computers are in, could be the first five, could be the first five, could be the first ten, and I will find those students out and I will have them come down and we will give them candy for returning their computers so quickly um, for this. Uh, just email me as soon as all your computers are in, just like like, and that'll actually tell me who did what. Uh, plugged in in the right slot. And also make sure you're logged out. So I think some of those things, we can't just throw computers in there. That's not a good idea. If you didn't bring your computer back today, you've got to bring it back tomorrow. They're like we're, we'll send emails home until we start charging you, you got to return them. There's no reason for you to still have a computer. And that's not going to you have a computer from January. Return the computer. All right, so we got though, we got that. So you're going to email me as soon as all your computers are in. And if there's one missing, you can't email me. That's the thing. If there's one missing, we can't email. Uh, because that actually could have cost a student and other people that, so, yeah, it's a fun little thing we'll do. Also have a lot, 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 lot of announcements today. We're ending the quarter here in a day. Uh, it is an advisory day, so hi, advisories, hi, advisories. I don't know why I look down here, so my camera's up here, and my screen's here that I look at, so sometimes you'll see me looking down. I don't think it matters uh, for most of you who are going to listen. Uh, some of you screenshot me in the weirdest positions, too, and so does YouTube, like, like. Sorry about that. So I apologize in advance. We had a uh, fifth graders are coming in today to do a concert uh, to listen to some of our advanced musicians play music today. Uh, that's kind of exciting. And so let's get to announcements so I can get all of these sporting events and everything out. Also out. All right. Today is Thursday, March the seventh, two thousand twenty-four. And these are your morning announcements. Westlake Middle School is an avid school-wide site of distinction. The mission of Westlake Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. Let's get wildcat ready, everyone. Make sure our lanyards and our IDs are around our necks. Our binders and our student organizers are with us. Backpacks and purses are in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers. Blankets will stay at home. Today is a white day. Nope, it is not. Blue day, blue day, blue day. Come on, Mr. Pickcock. Got to get. Today is a blue day. I knew I'd mess this up at some point. Today is a blue day with advisory. So anything you might have heard or seen, it's a blue day with advisory. And Mr. Pickcock just he, he was off on that slide. But it's a blue day with advisory. We'll have periods one through five today. So that's what we did. We did period six through ten on the e-learning day yesterday. Celebrating Black History Month, our Black Celebrating Black History Excellence in Education. Today we have the Arkansas Baptist College. It's by Josh Mackey. Uh, it's also nicknamed as the ABC. So it's in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's the only, it's the only Baptist HBCU, uh, historically black college university, that's actually on the west side of the Mississippi River. Famous alumni are Louis Jordan, Louis Jordan, and E. Alice Taylor. The average tuition is eight thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars and they have about 884 students and they are the buffaloes that is arkansas baptist college thank you josh from seventh grade avid oh thank you all for reading and creating a culture of reading and all being reading culture trailblazers nice job wildcats all right student council did a great job the other day on march 5th and this will be updated when the next meeting and we'll also i had the, the student council maybe make a spirit week for me so that could be coming soon i don't know what like should we do it next, not next week, but should we do the week after? I think so. We have a spirit week uh, before we get out of here. And then we'll also do a spirit week when coming back from iLearn, too, or coming from iLearn. Now let's get to the call outs. Number one, tennis tryouts. Your call out is March 14th. That is one week from today. Your call out is March 14th. The first practice is March 18th from 4 30 to 6. Meet in the cafetorium after school. Bring athletic clothing, shoes, and a water. And your late bus is available at 6 p.m. or you can get picked up at 6 p.m. All right, softball tryouts. Workout on Thursday. That's today. 
Monday and Tuesday next week are tryouts. This is for all grades 6 to 8, girls only. Bring a mint and a bat if you have one. We have extras. If you have any questions, talk to Ms. Mr. Rep. Logo or Miss Northrop. Boys volleyball is March 11th and the 12th next week. Please meet in the cafetorium after school. Bring athletic clothing, shoes, and water bottle. Late bus is available. I do believe we have some talented boys uh, on the volleyball team. I know they because they split this year um, with the girls during their their their. And I, I still think we we need to have Daniel get pied in the face, but uh, we'll get that uh, taken care of. But March 11th and 12th is boys volleyball tryouts. Again, meet in the cafetorium, 4:30 to 6. We have. What well, do you want to try out for the track team? Join Coach Doss, Coach Martini, Coach Barry, and Coach Roy after school on Tuesday, March 12th through Thursday, March 14th. Get changed at the end of the day, then meet in the cafetorium. Don't be late. There we go. Do you want to play baseball? Well, that's the spring tryouts info for baseball is March 11th and the 12th. That is next Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so if you want, meet in the cafetorium after school, bring athletic clothing, shoes, water bottle, of course, a bat and uh, uh, a glove. And so you can uh, hit and catch the ball, hopefully. Got my fingers crossed for y'all. Um, I softball, too. Fingers are crossed. Uh, so, yeah, that's all spring tryouts. Catch the spring fever. It's here. Poster design for uh, poster design for advisory is for iLearn. And I mean, those, those are due by March 15th. That is actually one week from this Friday. And so make sure you have the best ones. So the best ones will get a donut party, the top five. Don't forget our Wildcat Focus, writing your student organizer every class, being on time to every class, and your first effort needs to be your best effort. What will our quarter four focus be? I'm not certain yet. I'm trying to make a decision. I'll get with some people. If you have an idea, teachers and or students or advisory classes, go ahead and email them to me. Teachers know the email, and some of you can email from Canvas, but your teachers also know my email. I send out enough throughout the day. Let's make sure we're cleaning up West Lane. Make sure our language and messes in the hallways, cafeterias, classrooms, and restrooms, especially helping us out in the classrooms as we're shorthanded with custodians. Please make sure you're picking up all your trash. You you throw like you guys are oblivious to this, but you guys will just walk and then just kind of like sprinkle trash. I don't know how it works, but that's how it is. Let's make sure we're cleaning help cleaning up those classrooms for our custodians. Also, let's make sure we wash our hands 20 seconds to help prevent the cold and flu and COVID. I think I. Uh, I have start I have the startings of, of, of a cold. Um, so just in red, like you didn't see me Monday, I was down at IU Monday. I think that's where I got sick. I'm allergic to that place. I think not be allergies. So um, yeah, so when I go to places that aren't Big Ten champions, it's hard to, it may be hard. I mean, I'm allergic to that, I guess. I don't know. Uh, all right, so make sure we are keeping our hands off each other here at West Lane. Make sure we have sixth grade students uh, should not be in the seventh grade and eighth grade hallway unless you are there for a class. Cafeteria, please sit in the correct tables and facing the center and stay in your seat and have your ID. Returning from lunch, you make sure you're sitting in this your seat until you're called and walk back with your teacher. Don't forget the bell does not dismiss you from class or even the actual time of the bell. Like I see people, uh, it's like the bell rings here at 10 o'clock. Then you all start walking out at 10 o'clock exactly when the bell doesn't really ring until like 10 o'clock and like two seconds. But your teacher is the one that is missing you, not the bell. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast. All food should be eaten in the cafetorium. No food should be eaten outside the cafetorium. And restroom privacy. Please give students using the restroom the appropriate privacy. All cell phones in your locker between 925 and 425. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. And don't forget our motto. Say it with me, everybody. Cada wildcat. Cada dia mejora, which means every wildcat. Every day. It's better. Let's have a tremendous Thursday, everybody. And we'll see you throughout the building. Get those computers turned in. All right.